Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Photo Snippets. Today I am at Eibze, which is arguably the most beautiful lake in South Germany. It's at the foot of the Zugspitze, which is somewhere over there behind me now. Normally I would start uh, this episode uh, complaining about the weather as I usually do, uh, which um, was a bit confusing this morning. I was hoping to get some snow when I got here and that's exactly what I got, so I can't complain today. So there will be no complaining about the weather in this episode. I'm gonna go around the lake. It's very crowded as usual because it's a public holiday today and uh, it's accessible by car, this lake. But I'm hoping when I get to the other side of the lake that it won't be so crowded. And I've been here before in the past at least a couple of times and it was... Um, I always took uh, very nice photographs but I've never been here with snow. So I'm hoping today I'll get something different from the previous times. And uh, in any case, I'm optimistic about today, but let's see, it needs to be proven. Conditions today are almost perfect because there is no wind, there's light snow, a low cloud over the lake, and the water surface is so calm that the reflections are perfect. And I already have a composition in mind, which is uh, this side of the lake there, with, uh, if I don't know if you can see it, with the snow on the shore so i'm gonna go down there and see if i can find some suitable foreground so i think i found the right compromise between uh, foreground rocks and height so that i don't lose perspective of the lake I'll go there and show it to you now this is it so the point was to take as many of these rocks here as possible I like the diagonal into the image and then you see the line continues over on the other side of the shore with these same rocks and we have the trees and the reflection up and down also from the other side now I have to admit that it is a little bit unbalanced this photograph there is much more going on on the right than is on the left and uh, because I don't think this mountain on the left is big enough to balance all of this stuff so you see that the mountain here on the left it's too small, I don't think it can balance all of this stuff that's going on here on the right. So I'm not 100% happy with this, I'm not sure it's going to work out, but... Um, anyway, I've taken it now, and we'll see at home how it works out. down at the shore lake again, out of the main path and away from the people. And I've been this uh, spot before uh, many years ago. And I came back down because I want to photograph the two islands which are on my left and on my right. First, however, I need to pick a nice uh, foreground and then we see how it goes from there. Let me show you the shot that I have in mind, which I found after a short deliberation, which is a good thing because it's snowing heavily. I found these two rocks in a f over there which uh, to a degree mirror the two peaks of the trees there and there. And uh, so what I'm going to do is a, a zoom stack. It's going to be a portrait shot from down low over there. First it's going to be wide open uh, lens and I'm going to take the two uh, rocks so that they are uh, very prominent in the frame because I like the way they are in the, in the frame. And then I'm going to lift the camera a bit further up, the, the lens, and zoom in to the island so that it's bigger, because if it's at 24 millimeters, the island is very small. But if I zoom in, then the island is going to also become more prominent. Okay. Leaving the camera with the lens pointing towards the direction where the snow is coming from was not the cleverest thing I've done today. <laughs> That's why we have uh, lens cloths. 
Let me show you exactly what I'm photographing now. This is the first shot I'm going to take with uh, the rocks in the foreground, nice diagonal line and uh, at 29 millimeters fairly, fairly open. I'm focusing on the rocks here, uh, the polarizer, I don't know if you can see it, but if I turn it another way then I have a reflection. If I turn it all the way again around, then I see all the what what is under the water, all the rocks, which is what I prefer for for this case. You can see the island is back back there in the background, but uh, somewhere here, but it's uh, almost uh, invisible because of the trees behind it. Actually, before with the fog, I had much better separation, but uh, well, I missed the fog. So what can you do? So we take this photograph like this, and then what we do is we lift it up horizontal again, try to keep it pointing in the same direction and then we zoom in and focus on the island and then that's the second photograph but in this case now we can actually have a better reflection of the island if we have the reflections in the water so this is the second shot and uh, then uh, we combine these uh, two shots to make the final photograph Now I'm off the main path again, trying to find uh, an area where I have never been before. So uh, uh, there's a small, uh, another uh, secondary small lake next to the main lake, and uh, I'm gonna check that out. Maybe it's gonna be nice. I have another half an hour before uh, sunset, and then I'll have to head back anyway because it's going to be dark. So I think it's another five minutes from here. In any case, it's a very nice uh, walk in the woods, as you can see. And maybe if I'm lucky, I'm gonna take the last photo of the day here, and I'm gonna head back. Uh, the lake is right there. Maybe you can see it. Very beautiful, but uh, with uh, this uh, woods, you can't really photograph it from uh, up here. Now the path ends here, so. Which way? Let's see. So I'm here now. This is the spot that I was looking for and I need to find a shot from somewhere here. I have a very nice little island. I just need to find a clear spot to photograph it. The water is very, very calm. The island is really close and the mountain is right on top of me. So now I need to hurry. Not much needs to be said here with this scene. Uh, beautiful island, nice mountain in the background, which is now uh, hidden by the clouds, but I managed to take the photograph. And uh, reasonably okay foreground. So I think this is the best photograph of the day. I don't know if it comes through the microphone of the camera, but somebody is flying a drone around, probably taking better photographs than I am. I don't know. Oh, ah, there is a little bit of mountain now, just coming out of the clouds. So immediately take another photo. Now, if only we had a bit more mountain in the frame. There's just a little bit now, and. Uh, a bit more would be nice. Now the mountain is completely gone again. It's going to clear out again. But uh, how long do I need? Well, uh, while I'm waiting, I might as well show you what I'm photographing. So here is the shot. Rocks in the foreground, the island in the middle. And then, as I said, I'm hoping for uh, the cloud to clear above the island. And then we will get a very nice uh, the, the mountain over there. I don't have much longer because it's going to get dark soon, but uh, as long as it's, there is enough light to photograph, I'm going to stay here and uh, take all the chances that I have. And then uh, if I don't get it, I don't get it.
Come on, Cloud, move out. Move away. Move away, just a little bit more. We shouldn't complain. Yeah, I got, I got the shot that I wanted to get. Now, anything from, from, from here onwards is a bonus. Now, now the mountain has cleared up. So we keep photographing to get the best combination of mountain, cloud, etc. I definitely think this is going to be one of the shots of this year. So it was a good decision to come here today. Ibze always pays off. Huh? Every time I come here, I get a great photograph. And I'm really tempted to photograph the moon and then clone it into the photograph. It's, it's cheating, but it's, it's just a little bit of cheating because it's going to be literally 10 degrees to the left from where it is now. So is that cheating? I don't know. I don't think it's cheating. Or it's a bit cheating. It's, it's a little bit of cheating. Okay, now I think I'm done. I got the photograph exactly the way I wanted it. And it's time to get out of here. Before I do, however, I do. Before I go away, I will take one shot of the moon. So I have the moon. And now it's time to really say goodbye and get the hell out of here because it's getting really cold. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.